Hello everyone, Eric the Car Guy back again with another episode for you. This time, once again, I'm going to talk a little bit about this uh, Civic engine, but in particular I'd like to cover what thrust bearings are. Uh, thrust bearings are an important part of locating the crankshaft inside the uh, engine block, and I'd like to show you what they are and basically what they do, and if you have a problem with them, what you might encounter. Alright, first let's talk about what thrust bearings are. These are bearings. Uh, they're made of the same material that the uh, regular uh, bearings are that are on the crankshaft that uh, are on these journals. But these actually live down towards the center, in fact on this particular journal, and they help, like I said, locate the crankshaft laterally inside the engine block. And to give you a better look at this, let's go over to the block and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now I've gone ahead and removed all the pistons from this block and as you can see it's pretty well beat up here but the area I want to focus on is right here. These are the grooves that these thrust bearings live in. And like I said, they help locate the crankshaft laterally inside the block. Actually, I think they might go like this. These channels help direct oil into the area. Huh. You know, if I'm honest, I honestly don't remember which way they go. But you've got one on each side here on this journal. And yeah, they can rotate around. And it's okay that they do that because they're just locating the crankshaft in place. Now this is what happens, say if these are completely worn out, just take them out of the equation, grab our crankshaft. It's little, but it's heavy. Ugh. Put it down inside the block. Okay. Now, if you don't have the thrust bearings in here, this whole crankshaft can move back and forth. See, it doesn't have the other bearings in here, that's why it's not seating in all the way. But this is what happens, is that this whole thing can move back and forth a considerable amount. Now, what happens when this happens? Well, this is especially a problem on manual transmission vehicles because back here on the flywheel when you push in the clutch you're putting a load on the crankshaft in this direction going this way and what that does is it accelerates the wear on these thrust bearings and their surfaces so what can happen is this can actually get to a point where it's bad enough to cause a no start you'll push in the clutch just like normal but the whole crankshaft will move to such a degree that it will actually bind up inside the engine block and the crankshaft won't be able to spin because it's locked into place and that's because these thrust bearings are worn out so this is one possibility if you have a no crank no start situation and one of the ways that you can verify this on a manual transmission vehicle is you can have a buddy go inside the car and step on the clutch pedal and observe the front of the crankshaft. As they step on the clutch pedal, if you notice any movement of the crankshaft back and forth, then it's a good indication that those thrust bearings are worn out because they're not locating the crankshaft laterally inside the block any longer. All right, here's a couple of things that I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention in the video. And that is that uh, thrust bearings come in different shapes and sizes. Uh, here's another example. Uh, here's another example here. Uh, but also in addition to that, the principle is the same with these different shapes. Just because they look different, they still perform the same function, which is locate the crankshaft laterally inside the engine block. 
Uh, but the other thing I wanted to mention was is that it's not something, if the thrust bearings go bad, that's going to cause the engine to not start. It might cause a slow crank, it might cause some noise, or just other strange things. But always look for these possible mechanical causes. Uh, one last thing I'd like to mention is that, say you're doing a clutch job, it's really not a bad idea to grab a hold of the flywheel and pull it back and push it in to feel it. If you feel any movement, uh, it could indicate a problem with those thrust bearings, and that's something that should also be addressed, uh, particularly if you're having clutch issues or just uh, issues with the engine not running properly. Thrust bearings. All right, now does this always mean that if you have a no crank, no start situation, it's thrust bearings on a manual transmission? No, it does not, but like I said, get a look at the front of the crankshaft, or like crank pulley, and have somebody step on the clutch and see if there's any movement. If there is, it's likely that is a problem and needs to be addressed. You don't have to do a complete overhaul. In fact, you can slip those bearings out many times uh, once you drop the uh, lower retainer on the uh, crankshaft itself. Different engine designs do it differently, but it's just one possibility. But keep a lookout for thrust bearings. Anyway, I'm Eric the Car Guy. You can always visit me at ericthecarguy.com or follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And now on Google+, and around here I close with be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. I'll see you next time.